Hi, my name is Amado Castillo, pronouns he, him, his. I was born and raised in Southern California. Um, I went to school in UCLA, so this area is really important to me. Um, I'm also currently a Mono intern, and I have a fellowship with the National Park Service through their Rivers, Trails, and Conservation Assistance Program in Los Angeles, and I have a lot of projects in the Southern California region. Hi, my name is Fernando Lara, and I was born and raised in Southern California. I lived in Paramount, California, for most of my life, I now reside in Long Beach. I graduated from Cal State Long Beach uh, with a major in geography and a concentration in GIS. And currently I am a mono intern, uh, working as a GIS intern uh, for the Ventura Fish and Wildlife Office. So my connection to this area is through my fellowship with the Mano Project. The Rivers, Trails, and Conservation Assistance Program was asked to do a community profile on the Hemet and San Jacinto communities uh, because they're trying to do some development with the Anza Trail. And so I got to learn firsthand about the critical and endangered species that live out here and how important it is to ensure that these areas are protected for future generations. It's also a very, very, very park poor community. A lot of the green spaces that currently exist within uh, San Jacinto and Hemet, a lot of them are golf courses and other things that aren't as accessible to people. So making this a recreational area or even a wildlife refuge would be a great help for the community. So growing up, I know for a fact that I didn't uh, grow up in an area where there was a lot of access to nature and outdoor recreation. Latinos like myself are two times more likely to be living in areas that are nature deprived. So that's why I believe we should turn this area into a National Wildlife Refuge. I'd like to thank Hispanic Access for giving me the opportunity to advocate for Latino community. Uh, I think it's a great privilege just because we don't really have a lot of uh, Latinos who know or have information about what it is working in the outdoors and protecting our natural resources. So I think it's it's a privilege and an honor to definitely be out here advocating for this area. It's really important that young Latinos like myself join the efforts to advocate for more public lands to create future wildlife refuges like this one.